Happy Saturday! Hope it's going well for you. Hope that the weekend is bringing lots of rest and relaxation and lots of good times with people close to you or beautiful sunshine or um, wonderful showers of rain. Whatever's going on in your neck of the woods, I hope it's all good. I received a, a call the other day from someone, from yesterday from someone, and she had a question which I thought would be a great topic to talk about today because I'm sure it's something that many of you might face. And she was asking me, she said, I am so inspired by what you're doing and you seem to stay so focused and one-pointed and uh, although I've seen you have emotion on some of the videos, for the most part you seem really contented and happy and you're always up and positive and I just want to ask how you stay that way because there are things that just happen in my life and there are people that I have to deal with and there's you know all this challenge or things that are taking place and as much as I want to stay positive and stay focused on what I'm to do I I find myself pulled away into the chaos of everything that's going on around me well isn't that life isn't that what life was supposed to be what was intended to be before we came here we chose to have certain experiences to see if we could stay true to what is the truth of our being and the truth of ourselves and as I moved through my own experiences right from the beginning of initiating 1111 magazine and the this new path uh, this new career this new passion or purpose or whatever you want to term it as uh, along the way for the past I guess now eight years nine years um, I, it wasn't that I didn't have all those things happening it's not that I don't uh, bump up against things even now but the difference I think that I have as opposed to many people is I'm able to recognize that it's all story it's just story it's just what we tell ourselves it's just what we fall back into or dive into the future of uh, but it's never really the now it's never really the truth and it's never really the present and so every single thing that you tell yourself it's thoughts there are thoughts streaming in and thoughts streaming out and it's all story and it's you know which story is it that you want to pay attention to do you want to pay attention to the story of the chaos or um, you know the romance gone awry or the job and career that's not going the way you want it to go or uh, the people in your life that are not supportive or not behaving in the way you want them to behave or do you want to go into the story of you know what can I create who, who can I be what's my possibility what are the dreams where's the magic I just like to stay in the stories that feel most loving and supportive to me and I also make certain that I'm not getting caught up in other people's stories I'm not getting pulled in by other people's stories because they will take you down many detours, many different paths, and off course or off your path um, that is truly committed to you. And none of it's right or wrong. You know, even if you end up that way on a certain day, there's nothing wrong with it because I guarantee you that there are messages and signs and symbols and conversations that you were intended to have on that day that were of importance. And so, you know, it's all valuable, but. If, if we learn to be our own healer and our own teacher and our own guide first, then we can truly appreciate and acknowledge and take in um, that which everyone else is here to share with us as well and can also send out our own voices. And so just remember it's all story. You're making it up anyway. We're all making it up as we go along. Uh, even the Rebel Road Tour, you know, it's going to be what I make it up to be. It's going to be what others make it up to be. It's not um, something that need be worried about or um, manipulated in any sort of way because what does a writer love most than to allow the words to flow onto the page and create an amazing uh, poem or verse or story? What does an artist love most to allow the strokes of color to to be placed upon the canvas to create something that you don't even know exists yet. You know, what does the songwriter or the musician, the melody maker, love most to put out the chords or the words or the lyrics uh, that end up evolving into something that is so harmoniously beautiful that you couldn't even imagine how it would touch one's soul or touch another's. And so let the stories be there that we're all chapters of a great big book and within our chapter are going to be many vignettes that are the stories but it doesn't mean we have to stay stuck in them 
It just means that they are part of the moving screens that we drive past as we stay focused and present to what it is that we want to be the main story of our life, the primary story of our life. And so as you move through this wonderfully beautiful, amazing Saturday, and you think about all of the incredible people that are in your life and have come into your life, let yourself, your mind, your heart venture into the stories that serve you in the greatest way. In love, of love, and with love, always. I'm Simran. Be well, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.